energy. Energy is one of the single most important things from so many. It tips health. It tips AI. It tips everything. You've been a huge investor proponent across a multitude of different energy investments. How are you thinking about where we're in the near term and the middle term? Well, so I am pretty optimistic about energy and about climate solutions. So, so let's talk about energy. Uh, coincidentally, uh, the year we committed to OpenAI, which was 2018, we made two other investments I'm very proud of. One was Commonwealth Fusion. Yes. Happened to be the same time. They weren't orchestrated. I didn't connect. AI will need more power, so it wasn't that visionary. And the third was another one of my favorites, which hopefully we'll have talk, time to talk about, public transit using AI. Mm. It completely upends every assumption about public transit. There is no chance if you have a chauffeured car, it'll be more convenient than public transit. That's the world we are going towards. I suspect most cars in most cities will be replaced by 2050, but well, let's talk so, about so, energy. So let's talk about, so Commonwealth is a fusion company. Last time I looked, Vinod, there were some, I mean, blows me away, there was something like 40 VC funded fusion companies which I would have never imagined. Yeah. Well, you couldn't imagine it till 2018. Nobody wanted to fund fusion. Yeah. I won't name the names who said never uh, to me when we funded it. They said, are you you're being ridiculous? It's yeah. 50 years. Yeah. The so it's always been 50 years in wait and, and holding. Yeah. yeah. And the Department of Energy didn't want to talk about fusion as an energy source when I visited them. We invested anyway. Um, Almost certainly, this won't be a question in five years. So my current perspective is everything we can make happen by 2030. By 2030, nobody will be debating whether fusion's an economic possibility. There may be some question of exactly how much it costs. So, uh, so talk, educate us one second on, on Commonwealth. Uh, where are they? What have they been able to demonstrate? So... Um, you know, without going into details, they expect to demonstrate positive energy. Net energy output. Net energy output by early 2027 and start soon thereafter the construction of their first plant. And they've announced a site for it. Uh, in the interest of time, uh, let me just say, they won't build fusion power plants. The fastest way to deploy fusion, and I believe one of my forecasts is we will replace every coal and natural gas plant in this country by just repowering the boiler. So we'll have a fusion love boiler. That, love that vision, by yeah. the way. You know, the environmentalists who say, well, we need to shut down all the coal plants. I think we will repower them with fusion boilers and maybe a turbine change and steam conditions. There's lots of technical details. But you don't need 10 years of permitting, 10 years of getting a grid connection, power lines, and all that stuff. You just retrofit the same locations. That's why I'm optimistic. This won't be a problem. There's another technology that nobody is talking about. Please. Geothermal. Ah, yes. Um, we've toyed at the edges. We need better drilling. Yeah. So turns out the same well if it's at 200 degrees or 250 degrees, which is almost all geothermal anywhere in the world today, uh, produces a certain amount of power. But you take that drill to 400 degrees or 450 degrees, you get 10 times the power out of the same well. Suddenly, super hot geothermal, as it's called, is cheaper than natural gas. And I think that'll be deployed well before 2030. We have two different efforts. The hard part is drilling at high temperatures because metal becomes soft and metal can't drill in hard rock. And sometimes hard rock is hard to frack. Both those technologies are well on their way and will surprise us in how much power they can generate. If you enjoyed this episode, I'm gonna be releasing all of the talks, all the keynotes from the Abundance Summit exclusively on exponentialmastery.com. You can get on-demand access there. Go to exponentialmastery.com.